On Sunday, the 21st of April, 2024, Steam Incorporated ran another popular excursion train with DA1410. This time, they started out from Paikakariki and went up to Rorimu, with one of Kiwi Rail's refurbished EF-class electric locomotives joining the train at Palmerston North Station. This was a very significant occasion, as it was the first time an EF hauled a passenger train in her refurbished condition. And indeed, throughout the day I saw loads of other rail fans out to chase the excursion. Apparently, this was the first time an EF had hauled a passenger train since 2017, when EF3134 had to help JB1236 on her way to Tangiwai after the steamer had some sort of mechanical problem north of Taihape. I still have some footage of that bazaar working, and here it is. EF-3192 was left to haul a northbound freight train on her own. More recently, that very same locomotive was the star of the show, and she's unique for being the only EF to ever carry the, now outdated, Transrail Blue livery. For some historical context, the EF class, originally known as the Class 30, for whatever reason, was built by Brush Traction of Loughborough, England in 1987 and 1988, exclusively for the electrified central section of the main trunk line. Out of the 22 EFs that were originally built, two have been scrapped after they were damaged in a washout at Oyo in the 1990s, while five were withdrawn over the years for one reason or another. As far as I know, KiwiRail's plan is to refurbish 15 of the surviving EFs, and five have been completed at the time of uploading. The first livery worn by the EFs was International Orange, aka Fruit Salad, and 3192 received her Transrail repaint in 1999, not losing her unique livery until her refurbishment in 2023. Well, it was a unique livery by EF standards at least. Although my opinion on the new livery has changed to something more positive, compared to what my first impression was, I'm still confused as to why the refurbished EFs are painted blue. Imagine if this livery was ever used on a DX, or any of KiwiRail's diesels, for that matter. In any case, the EFs are still popular with rail fans, and they're also the only class of electric locomotive that still hauls revenue-earning services in New Zealand. The day before the excursion, I spotted an EF3192 parked in a siding at Palmerston North Yard, with two of her classmates and some DLs for company. It's interesting to see just how much the bright blue livery stands out from the filthy diesel locomotives and gloomy sky. Next morning, we went to Palmerston North Station to wait for DA1410's arrival. In the meantime, I got some static shots of the Capital Connection coaches, which are parked at the station on weekends because their service only runs on weekdays. Go figure. These are the SR-class coaches that entered service in July 2023, replacing the original S-class coaches that had been in service on this route since 1999. I say that the S and SR coaches entered service, but they technically re-entered service. In both cases, they are former British Rail Mark II coaches, but the SRs were first refurbished in the mid-2000s for suburban services in Auckland, initially being redesignated as SA-class coaches or SD-class cab cars. They were made redundant after the arrival of electric trains in Auckland, but KiwiRail have since refurbished some of the former SA and SD coaches a second time for Te Huia and the Capital Connection. I should also mention the extra SAs that were converted for use as luggage or kitchen coaches on KiwiRail's long-distance services. These are now designated as AKS or AKF. As for the S-Class, these were not rebuilt anywhere near as extensively as the later SA and SD conversions, retaining their original window and door layouts during the conversion to run on 3 foot 6 inch gauge, as opposed to their original 4 foot 8 and a half inch or standard gauge. 
The Capital Connection originally used former FM guards vans, redesignated as AG, as generator vans, but that role is now played by a former SD cab car, now designated as SRG. The driver's cab is no longer used in passenger service, because the cab con isn't frequent enough to justify push-pull operation. For comparison, this is how SRG 6026 looked when she was still in SD. I took this photograph at Tomaru Nui Station in January 2020. After the excursion pulled in, loads of people went and crowded around the northern end of the station. With this many people about, Joe Public would be forgiven for thinking that a steam locomotive was in town. <laughs> DA-1410 soon returned to the station after a spin on the turntable, and her prime mover was shut down after she coupled to the southern end of the train, thus allowing EF-3192 to do all the work for the Rorimu leg of the trip.
But here I was, not expecting the DA to rejoin the train until after the EF came back from Rorimu. Regardless, we got ahead of the excursion and resumed the chase in fielding. Then we continued on to Porrewa Road, north of Martin, not realising that we had also overtaken DFB 7049 with the Northern Explorer until she came round the corner. We gave up the chase at the State Highway 1 level crossing at Mangaweka and returned to Palmerston North to film the miniature DA, DX and DXR locomotives on the Esplanade Scenic Railway. This line will get its own dedicated video at some point. And for comparison, this is a full-size DXR, of which only two exist. 
DXR-8007 was rebuilt from DX-5362 in 1993, while 8022 was rebuilt from DX-5235 in the early 2000s. Later in the evening, we returned to fielding to catch EF-3192 and DA-1410 on their way back from the Rodimu spiral. I wasn't expecting the EF to run around the train at the foot of the spiral, since the DA was already at the southern end of the train, but I suppose it's a good thing the EF got to lead the train both ways.